Well, really good news, guys. I got the pistons out. And let me tell you, the engine is unseized now, which is awesome. This makes me very happy. Now, you're going to see here on parts of the crankshaft, there is this rust. But, you know, this crank, it's solid iron or steel. I think it's iron. I don't know actually and that now what's really important with your crankshaft is that the bearing surfaces are in good shape and you can see on mine these are the really shiny parts here and they're in pretty good shape sometimes what can happen if there's like little flakes of metal inside your engine floating around that can get in there uh, they'll leave scrapes all over those surfaces. There really wasn't any here. You really, really don't want any of the rust to be on those bearing surfaces. And you can see here there's not. Now for people who might be concerned about the rust on the big lobes of the crankshaft, which is where you see a little bit of that surface rust on mine, um, that's really not a huge concern when it's just a little bit of surface rust, which is the case with mine. Now, how do you know you don't need to be concerned with that? Well, because the truth is, after you clean it up, the amount of iron removed from this crankshaft is only about, mm, I don't know, less than maybe point, I'd say less than 1% of a pound of iron and this crankshaft weighs at least 30 pounds guys this is really heavy I mean that is solid chunks of iron there so in truth you got a whole lot of material that can be removed before you're gonna be affecting uh, the performance or the function of the crankshaft so I got lucky here guys mines in pretty good shape just wanted to give you all a heads up. Those are the kind of things to look for, though. That makes me very happy seeing that the crank is now unseized. So we're going to clean. We're going to do a lot of cleaning. Clean up the pistons, clean up the cylinders, clean up the crankshaft. Oh, clean up this stuff here. Carburetor, exhaust manifold, the head. Probably going to take the head into a machine shop. We'll see. Yeah, really happy we were able to unseize the engine, guys. There, so on the pistons, there's these rings here. Well, first of all, there's not any big chunks out of any of the pistons. Um, there's just carbon buildup, so we'll be able to get all of that off. And those will be good. The only thing was on the fourth cylinder piston, this top little clip here broke on part of it. So I'll need to get a new one and there's this little like chain ring looking thing here that it's a little rusted on part of it. On so another quick note here guys. This ring towards the top of the piston that's broken, this is called the compression ring. And the one underneath it that looks identical is identical. It's the second compression ring. So when that first one breaks, the second one is there to help uh, also maintain the compression, even if the first one leaks or has some blow by. And the fact that it's broken, and actually you don't see it here, but uh, both the first and the second compression rings were broken on that piston and that's pretty bad and there shouldn't be a gap as you see there in that top ring because uh, otherwise that's where effectively blow by will get and you'll lose compression and another thing I want to point out is that third ring that looks more like a chain that's actually how oil gets dispersed around the perimeter of the piston so there's actually holes through the piston that sort of, um, whenever it's going up and down, the oil gets up through those holes, then goes out uh, through that chain looking uh, ring around it at that part. Now, a big question to answer here is, well, 
why did the engine seize up? What was causing it to seize up? If we don't understand that, then how do we know we're going to prevent it in the future? And I've got a pretty good idea at this point what was causing it. I'll tell you guys why that engine was seizing up. It was due to that fourth piston there. Now, one way or another, rust and water were getting into that fourth cylinder. And whenever I was putting Marvel Mystery Oil into each of the spark plug holes, that fourth cylinder, all of the mystery oil stayed on top of the piston. It was just sitting there. It didn't leak down around the edges like it did on all the other pistons. Now what that tells me is that that whole ring around that fourth piston was essentially rusted shut to the cylinder wall. And that's also why I think the engine was stuck ultimately. Now what caused that? I think it's due to water getting inside that fourth cylinder. And when we looked at the head of the engine, we saw on the intake ports that there was rust inside there. So one way or another, um, water was getting in, causing rust on that cylinder. And that's what ultimately uh, seized up the engine, guys. This one, so I might want to get that replaced too, if you can. I'm going to have to look into that. But overall, happy we got it out. This engine might be able to be saved. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. And that's all for today. I will see you guys next time.